Okay, we're live. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I really want to review the FLIR, F-L-I-R. If you guys don't know what that stands for, you can Google it. Feel free. But there's this Pathfind IR for Pathfinder. Pathfind IR. IR is infrared. Um, device. It's a thermal imaging device that you can actually put on your car. BMW and Cadillac had them. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, um, I have to just say... It works like night vision. So if you guys have security cameras, kind of like these, I have tons of security cameras. If you got to my house, you're going to be on camera. Trust me. One's for power, one's for video. But as you can see with this device, it has several LEDs. Those are infrared LEDs. Now what happens with this device is it actually projects a red light. When you put it on the outside, you can actually see that, that, that spectrum of light. A human can see that spectrum of light. Some of these you can't because it's in the higher range. Um, it's naked or invisible to the human eye. I've seen people, I'm not recommending you do it, not at all, but I've seen people actually mount these, hide them in the bumper of their car or their grill. Wow, I just think I see, you can almost see a red light right there. That's crazy. That's just from the screen though. <laughs> My puppy is back there making some noise. Excuse my house, it's a mess. My girl is an Amazon freak, and you can see my boxes of Amazon stuff that comes every single day to this house. Anyway, so I would love to see an Amazon box with this FLIR IR, Pathfinder IR system. Um, I'm willing to do a review for it. I'm willing to put it on a Cadillac, use it for off-road uses. Like I said, you can take one of these cameras. You can buy a cheap one or get a good one or whatever. This is a cheap one I've had for quite some time. Just something I wanted to use real quick so I can explain how it works and what, what it does. But if you take one of those systems that doesn't produce the red light, yes, you could put it on the front of your car. Technically speaking, you could do it. Legally, no. And you could drive. You know, you could you could do it via Wi-Fi for a few dollars. There's, there's, there's ways around it if you guys can figure it out. <laughs> But you can put that on the front of your car and actually have a little screen to monitor if you have a flip out for your double den or single den, whatever you have in your car. Or you could use it, you know, Wi-Fi versus you could use your phone. But driving like that, you want to put it in, a, in an upright position so you can still see out like in a heads up position. Now, the reason I'm saying this is in this particular incident, these can film at night, right? So they're still limited. Those do film at night. Um, you can see with headlights about 250 to 450 yards depending on what kind of headlights you have, whether they're just awesome halogens or some great LEDs or some HIDs, you know, you can only see about that far given conditions, how much fog's in the air, et cetera, et cetera, the dust, et cetera. It all depends on where you live, but we're just using headlights. Now, the step up from the headlights, would you be able to see with these devices? Some of the, some other countries, BMW did it for a while. Some other car companies looked at it. Cadillac did it for a while. They used night vision. The U.S. military uses it. They use the FLIR system. It, it's it's phenomenal. That's something we can't really afford is, as civilians. Unless you, I mean, maybe you can. You know, maybe you got you got several thousands of dollars to drop on something like that. I don't know, 20, 30 grand. But the system I'm talking about, infrared, um, only sees on a certain light spectrum, only can see so far, and kind of limited by the pixels and everything. You know, it's not as the same correlation as, like, let's say this TV I'm looking at that I use for a monitor here or this this 4K camera that I'm speaking on <laughs> that you're viewing me from. But with thermal, it doesn't need any light. It doesn't have to have a light source, so you don't see any red at all with lower, like the 800, 900 range. And then 900, right above 900, I believe, is 900 nms, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you don't see that with a physical human eye. So technically, you could put that on front of a car and get away with it, but I don't recommend it. Um, but this FLIR Pathfinder system doesn't need light. It senses heat, and you can see probably close to 1,000 feet ahead. So you'd be able to see if there was a deer in the road, people walking across the street. You know, It doesn't get affected by the blindness. Let's actually look at the, let's look at their website. Let's do that. Let's see if I can pull that up. For you guys, let's see what we have here. Where is my share? Hmm. I see that I have four viewers in the chat. Sorry, I haven't pulled up the um, physical video yet. I mean, the physical chat yet. Please give me one second. 
I am working on this. Hmm. So I'm going to try to pull this up so we can actually see their website. If I can figure out how to share the screen here, because it's not like it used to be. What do we have here? Share screen. Here we go. Boom. And let's go back. So, guys, if you're watching, you're from FLIR, here I am. I'm willing to be a test model. I know this system has been out for quite some time. The price has reduced. I've been watching it for several years. It's something I could use in, in the business that I'm in. Um, and I would be using an off-road application. I would probably just park in front of my street one day just to, to give an application to show what it could do. You know, if if it was implemented in all cars in America, which I think it should be, you know, and a, and a heads up display so that people don't lose the focus of the road. Because if you're looking over at a screen on your on your TV or excuse me, on your dash, you're not looking at the road. Maybe on a heads up display probably work a lot better. And I'm sure there's some things that will correlate. I've seen some companies that have um, things that will project an image that like the old 80s and 90s where there was like a little um copper slash film that was on the windows like the nissan 240 sx's used to have a you know they, they project the speed there was like a little camera that did a reflection number off of the the dash and reflect up on the on the on the glass to that that piece i know walmart has some cheap systems that kind of do that and there's some startup companies that, that correlate and work with that um let's see who's in the chat while i'm here let's 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 see what's happening Give me one second. I gotta get to my own channel. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go to my channel. Let's see who's here. Cause I I hate not not saying hello when when I do a live stream. Let's see what we got here. All right. Lynn Denton. Hello, Granny Monster. Hello. Um, see who else is here. Stacy Ann Meeks, Tipodex, Louisiana Ariel. What's up, buddy? What's up? 
June Gall, hello. Hello. June, definitely um when you get a chance, hit me up in the um I need your email. As you can see behind me here. I am I'm mailing out some more drones today. I uh I took stock. I, I didn't know how many drones I actually had, and I've I've given away over 60 drones so far. Um I gave 20 something away at YouTuberie, and I'm still waiting to see some people actually use them. June, I'm going to try to mail yours out today um, and a few other people. So if you get a chance um, and you received one of the free drones I sent you, please just uh, just make a video with it. Maybe uh, I don't care if it's two seconds. I'd like to see it. I want to, I, The reason I give them away is because I want to see some some of my friends, some YouTubers, and, and some people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got a couple more I'm going to give away. I got I got to count how many I have left. I think there's at least probably six or seven that I know. Um, I don't know. Maybe more. I don't know yet. I got to see. TC TV. I um, I gave those away. Um, and YouTuberie people showed up for YouTuberie. I gave a bunch of those drones away, and um, <clears throat> just I, I wanted to see some people do some good things with it. But TC TV. I, I actually had a contest where people who first person who commented. Um, on some of my videos, receive some, and that's some of the people I'm mailing out to now. I've been I've been uh, not feeling well the last couple of days, hurt my neck, so I haven't been able to move, and I wasn't able to. It still it still hurts. It still doesn't feel like it should. But uh, <laughs> June, yes, you won something. You sure did. But with all that said, guys, I'm not going to be on here long. I'm getting notifications here. Not going to be here long. I just wanted to say hi and see if I can talk FLIR and to send me one of those systems that I could actually do a, a great review for them because I'm, I'm really curious in this system. I've been, I've been watching it for quite some time. Yeah, 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 TCTV. Yeah, you're in the uh, the UK. Yeah, that, that shipping would kill me. It would absolutely kill me. <laughs> I, may, I may mail two out. That are overseas. I don't know yet. I'm I'm waiting to see what the uh, the shipping is going to cost me. Maybe cheaper for me just to go online and <laughs> and do like my girl. See those boxes over there. All the Amazon. I don't know if you, can you guys see those Amazon like big box of cardboard we should be recycling right now. <laughs> June, no, you can't. Um, do it in the hangout, honey. Do it in the hangout. Don't put your email out there like that. But um. Yeah, I would just. I'm thinking about if, if if the shipping's too much, I may just go on Amazon and and try to buy some people who are out of who've won who live out of country. I might send them a drone that way, just a brand new drone from Amazon, have it drop ship versus me trying to send it. it might be cheaper. I don't know. I got to weigh the options there because uh, I don't know. I, I I looked at mailing one thing. This has been a while back <clears throat> to somebody, and it was two hundred and ninety something dollars it was like almost three hundred dollars to mail something just shipping so i won't say who or what it was but i was like three hundred dollars of shipping man that's that's ridiculous <laughs> so amazon is dangerous yeah amazon is dangerous my girl like like melts my credit cards melts them with amazon i promise you somebody will be knocking on the door today i won't be here um <laughs> Amazon comes to our house daily. I cannot repeat daily. It, if they delivered fresh food, dinner, then definitely we would be eating dinner from Amazon every single night. Just a hint, Amazon. Anyway, thank you guys for coming to the live stream. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, big shout out. Oh, Calvin's Corner, Karaoke Ken, Granny Monster, Lynn, Denton, TCTV, June Gall. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much for coming and everyone else. But I am going to cut it short. And if you get a chance, man, I, 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 I don't know. I'm going to probably tweet this out, see what I can do, if I can hook up with FLIR, F-L-I-R, and get one of their Pathfinder IR systems just so I can hook it up on my on my work truck. I got an Escalade I use for a work truck. And uh, I just want to really see the difference. Of, of how night and day it is. And I mean, it's the difference of night and day because I've, I've used the handheld ones that are, whew, those are like 10 grand. Some of those, I've, I just, you know, used them to check out some some hot spots on houses to see where, you know, air leakage was and things like that. Used it in construction, used it um, 
with a friend for a fire to see if there was anybody in a building when it was on fire. You know, there's there's different applications for it. I want to use it for a car just to see and and probably recommend how if depending on how well it works. And I may have to I, I may have to get another screen. I'll just go buy a screen flip out TV for my for my car to hook it up so that it has a nice big monitor. Yeah, in for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll definitely in, endorse them if 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 it's a good system. I just I just want to try the Pathfinder IR first and uh, see how well it works. I've been interested in it for I don't know probably eight years, something like that. Because um, this system I was talking about here, where the old school, like I used to, like when I was in high school, <laughs> we used to have a couple of these cameras. I had them in the fog lights, and. Uh, they were just coming out with the old school pull out radios and stuff. And once that, once that little phase passed and they came out with some of the, the crappy, I'd say crappy because this technology is always improving. Same thing with like phones, you know what I mean? Picture your first phone. <laughs> so I had these crappy TVs and then, then we used to take the monitors out and we took the monitors up. I still have some of those matter of fact, in, in that car, um, I keep that car in storage. I haven't drove it in forever, but anyway, the, I had the old school TVs hooked up to, some of these cameras I had in a fog light and they worked good. I had to do a reverse thing so I could actually see the image where left was left and right was right because instead of using like a rear view camera, I had them facing forward, but it worked it out and uh, it's very cool, you know? And, uh, <laughs> but I was young back then. We did, we did different things with it, but I definitely want to try a thermal imaging system on a vehicle and get my, my review on it. Maybe do a 10 minute video, something that's highly edited. And where I'm actually, you know, like I said, in my neighborhood in a, in a, in a controlled environment, do it. And then uh, I'll off-road where I really want to take it, you know, where you can see objects that may you may not see. It's in the woods, you know, may a bear crossing. And I'm, there's not too many bears here. <laughs> we just had a bear sighting in downtown Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach is an island, people. <laughs> Most people who come here on vacation, they don't realize that this is an actual island. But there was an actual bear that was seen. Um, the police were called whole nine yards. This was uh, near Oak Street, 10th Avenue in Myrtle Beach, which is near the police station. So I don't know how big the bear was. You know, it's pretty hot here. So, I mean, if a bear's in, in this, he had to he had to swim across the intercoastal waterway or he had to already be on this side. I don't think he hitchhiked. Nobody picked him up in the truck and gave him a ride over here. Because <laughs> on the other side of the waterway is, you know, mostly the island is not connected. He, he, I don't see a bear crossing a bridge. He may have. Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea. But I just think it's interesting that we did have a bear, and I, I just, just want to use those systems to see what it's about. All right. Thank you, guys, and uh, much love to all of you. And if you have a chance, I'm going to tweet this out. If you could tweet it out to FLIR, F -L -I -R, I'd appreciate it. Just share, retweet. I definitely want to get their attention. I definitely want to do something with this system. And if you guys are interested in it, check it out. Uh, maybe I'm bringing it to your attention for the first time. I don't know. We will see. Anyway, got to go, folks. I got a lot of work today. I got to go sweat. <laughs> I got to go get busy. So appreciate it. Much love.